Hi, what's your name? Oh, are you talking to me? <laughs> <laughs> Who else would I be talking to? It's just us in here. Talk louder <laughs> and look less depressed. Aiden. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Action? Action. No. Oh. Hi, what's your name? Hi, I'm Jess Foster. Katie Dustin. Hi, I'm Musa. Musa Lugmani. Ashley Russell. Ethan Fenton. Hi, I'm Maria. Olivia. Aiden. Paige Reese. I'm Emily. Kyle. Jesse Bailey. Matthew. I'm Helena. And what grade are you in? I am in 12th grade. 12th. I'm a senior, 12th grade. 12th. In 12th grade. 12th? Uh, 12th. I'm a senior here at Venal High School. Ooh, I'm dropping. Okay. <laughs> so what are the best memories you've had over the past four years of high school? Um, I think freshman year, um, finding a new group of friends. And not being here. Not being in Glen Helm. Um, going on a trip to Guyana was really fun. The Pops concert for choir. Yes. Lots of little things, even like the orchestra and band trips are just fun. Working with special education. Lunch with my friends. Hanging out in uh, someone's basement. Emceeing the pep rally was pretty fun. One game like we had to play like down at the beach and after we won we all like stormed the beach after the game and it was like the best thing ever. On freshman year homecoming. Like friends I guess. Prom was like last year. My experience in drama. Spending time with my friends. It's kind of just like a string of small moments. And what was the worst memory you had? Um, failing a math test in ninth grade. <laughs> a chicken nugget thrown at me. <laughs> Uh, my brother cheated on a math test. <laughs> there was a boy, and it just did not go well at all, and it was a mess. But like, I don't regret anything, but it was still the worst. <laughs> <laughs> Taking too many annoying classes that are boring. Sophomore year was not a good time for me. <laughs> I got straight bullied by my English teacher the entire year. <laughs> Some of the teachers. <laughs> Every night I had to stay up because I procrastinated on work. I guess like... My parents divorce. Parts of field hockey I did not enjoy. Sophomore year was pretty rough for me. Well, you're graduating this year. How do you feel that you made it this far? Um, pretty relieved. <laughs> Everyone says, I can't wait to graduate and I can't wait to get out of here. But then you get here and it's like, oh my gosh, like these are the people I've grown up with and I can't believe I'm leaving them. And it's really upsetting because I love them all so much. I'm excited to graduate, but really sad and kind of nervous to leave and go as far as I'm going. I have a long future ahead of me and I'm excited to go through that. Very surreal. I feel like like childhood is done. Happy. I am so excited, so ready to be done. Just like really glad that it's about to be over. Really nervous, honestly. I want it to be done with. <laughs> I can't wait to see what's in store. I feel good. I'm happy. I can't wait to get out. Relieved, but sad. Proud, but I still feel like I have a lot to learn. I've uh, put a lot behind me, and all I have left is college. I'm pretty much an adult going out to a new world. What would you tell your freshman year self? First, watch High School Musical, um, Camp Rock, uh, Mean Girls, mm. then girls are definitely mean. And it doesn't hurt to just have a friend everywhere you go. Like, you don't have to take all APs and all GTs. Like, there's way more to life than that. And I would also say that life gets better after braces. <laughs> 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 that I should have tried harder to the whole time. Everything that happened, happened for such a great reason. Take harder classes. To be yourself. Um, get better grades and stop being a dumbass. Relax, it's never that serious. Don't take GT Chem. To not stress about absolutely everything because in the end, like it will all work out and sometimes it just doesn't matter. Don't worry too much and just have fun while you can. You can sleep when you're dead, do everything. Don't take life too seriously. Don't be an asshole. <laughs> Not doing work is not a good way to succeed. <laughs> not to worry as much. Don't do it. Do your work when you get it because you're gonna hate yourself. When you wait until the last week to read a 500 page book and you don't read it at all and you have to write five pages about it and it's due on Friday. What are your goals for the future? To dance. College and then medical school and eventually become a doctor. Be a CPA like my mom. Like missionary work or like traveling the world. Like to go to college and be successful and have a family. Find something that really makes um, me excited about life. To be happy. Maybe be on Broadway in Hollywood or something like that. I don't care what I'm doing as long as I'm happy doing it. Oh. <laughs> Just to make some small impact on the world, I think. I want to move to California. To own my own boutique. I hope to help people, um, especially people who are just like deprived of basic needs. 
graduate with a major in criminology and criminal justice. Make enough money to make life like enjoyable and worth living, actually. Because, <laughs> That's like, so sad. <laughs> I mean, come on, it's like, it's almost like half the time you're like only living to stay alive. It's like most people are working to stay, to keep going. Mm -hmm. But they aren't even enjoying it. So, 